Let's get a fist bump. Live to roll. What's up everybody, Sean here with another Live to Roll video. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I get on and off my sweatshirts. I'll use a regular hoodie sweatshirt and then a zip up hoodie sweatshirt. So you can kind of have both options. Um, and uh, since it is getting close to winter now, time just changed, gonna be dark earlier and probably getting cold soon. I don't know, <laughs> Southern California is still pretty warm, but uh, I'm sure the cool will be coming soon. So basically we'll start with just a uh, regular standard hoodie here. Oops. Which I did set, try to set aside here for easy access. Alrighty. So, try to find a good position here. In both cameras. Rock and roll. So check it out. <laughs> Basically for a basic regular hoodie, I put it on like I would any other shirt. Um, I'm just gonna get the bottom down here and opened up. See if I can get my hands in here. And with my arms, I'll just spread it out, get each arm in each sleeve. Just nice and easy, just put them through. Grab with my teeth a little bit to Pull my fist hands through there. And once I get that over, now I just lean back into my into my chair backrest and uh, throw. Oh, that was the smoothest one. <laughs> uh, that didn't go very well, but <laughs> that's basically it. You throw it over, and then I'll just kind of um, pull the front around a little bit, and then lean forward with my arm looped back here on my armrest so don't fall forward and I'll just go uh, like this and try to get the sweater down and then switch arms hold with this and use this one I, I, I lick my thumb because it just it's kind of dry sometimes in the morning and that little moisture help you grab the fabric a little bit better so now I'm just trying to kind of work it down in the back using my thumb work down the front a little bit more and then maybe one more time on each side in the back to to get it all the way down so it's not right in your middle of your back all right so that's it for just a regular basic hoodie for getting it on now getting it off what i'll do is just pull up with my pocket here a little bit to get under get under and do the like a little bit of a rock forward if i can to just separate my back from the backrest for just a second so I can pull pull the sweater up over the top of the backrest back here. And then now I'm just gonna lean and try to balance for a second, get a little spasm. Uh, lean and pull the back end just right over and right around to my elbow. And then what I'll do is oh, actually hold on to my sleeve to pull it out like that so it doesn't go inside out, so it's easier for me to get back on next time. So once I get the one arm out, you can just go ahead and pull that over the head. And the other arm is nice and easy to get to, just like that. So that's the way I do my standard sweaters. And then I'll do a quick a hoodie with a zip up and usually when I have a zip up, I'll have it zipped up to start and I'll put it on the same way I did this sweater. I just keep it all the way zipped up and I throw it over my head like that. Um, and then I can zip it down if I need to, pull it off if I need to. So for the zipper, zipper hoodies,
what we're going to do here. Let me try to adjust this one real quick. Try a little more. Might be a little better. Okay, so for the hoodie, now if you have it unzipped already, like this one is fully unzipped. Like I said, if you have it zipped, much easier actually to just put it on like a normal hoodie you, and then you can unzip accordingly if you need some like breathing room or whatever or just keep it fully zipped so you got to take it off um so if it is already unzipped what i do is i'll just like open it up kind of like the normal like i had with my normal sweater if it's closed but it's just all open like this i'll still get my hands in the in the arms just like i did with the regular regular sweater and then what i'll do is just kind of try to like roll that out so it doesn't get bunched up like that and uh i'll literally just try to, i'll flip it over my head <laughs> it's like you try to flip it over the back and then once you got it like that you kind of got to get it into the backrest so what i'll do is the same type of thing but instead of holding on in the back i'm actually leaning on my elbow i lean on this arm and i got this arm hooked uh fix my foot first so I'm hooking under my leg and leaning on my leg so I got balance and I can lean forward a little bit here try to work down this side over here and then same thing over here I'm gonna stick my arm down here for some balance and then reach across to this side and I'm just grab sticking my thumb in the pocket and I'm just trying to pull it down if you don't have a pocket on your sweater like that, which most pullover hoodies do, they either have the one big one or the you know, two side ones like that, um, you can just try to do the thumb little lick and see if you can hook hook the bottom of the sweater. But if you have the, the um, you have the, uh, the pockets, it's pretty easy just to grab and pull, pull it down on both sides and it'll kind of just get it down. So there we go, now I got the hoodie, the zip up hoodie on. I can't actually start the zipper, even though I have a nice little zipper pull ring on here. Um, I have a couple times successfully, but not while it was on me. I did it while I was in the couch and kind of got it, and it's really kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest. So, um, I don't know if I'll show you that right now. So, <laughs> that might take me a good 10 minutes or so to get on. That's why I usually start with it done. But say you had it on and you unzipped it and now you want to get it off. So it's just a little easier to get off. Now that you've unzipped it and you have it open like this, all I do for this actually is I'll just uh, like pull it back off my shoulders and then just work it down. And then same thing, use my teeth a little bit to pull, pull the tighter part around. And then from there I can kind of get it over the backrest go to the other side, throw it around, and then I can kind of just pull it out. Now that I got it out like that, pull it out and just pull it off. And now it's all ready to go again. It's unzipped and stuff, just so, same as it was when I started. I just throw it on like that. And, um, so that's it. Actually, there is one other way for tighter sweaters. I'm gonna do the uh, standard hoodie one more time because um, I did. I just remembered that I. Uh, if you have a slightly tighter sweater or one with a zipper, um, and you don't want to unzip it fully because you know you are gonna want it zipped up the next day, and you might not have somebody coming in before then to help you zip it back up. Um, or you just have a hoodie that's a little tighter. I'm gonna do this one more time here. We'll throw it back on here. Get the uh, arms and the armrests. I mean armrests <laughs> in the sleeves. <laughs> uh, pull fingers through. Sling it up and over. I want one a little better than the first one. <laughs> and then same thing. Just leaning on the one arm, pulling down one side at a time. trying to trying to work it all the way down there 
Almost got it. Yeah. All right. Whew. All right. So finally, this is the the last one. <laughs> the other way I do it, the the way I did the first time was the way I actually take my shirts off. Same thing. I just pull and I'll work it around this arm. But sometimes the sweaters are tighter and it's actually harder to do that. So what I will do is same thing to start, kind of pop up like this. But what I'll do is I'll, I actually use my other arm for some reason, and I, I got my my right hand here all the way in into the sleeve opening now into the hole and now I'm from the inside trying to work it around my elbow oops there we go so I get it around my elbow there ding, ding. I like to pull my sleeves out so I don't have to worry about the sweater being inside out after I take it off so I pull the sleeve out and then I'm just going the opposite way I pull my head out this way and then finally, you can slide it off this last arm. All right, so there you go. Three different ways to get on and off your sweater, or two ways to get on, three ways to get off. <laughs> um, hopefully that'll help you guys this coming winter. If you're on your own and freezing your ass off and need to get your sweater on, or turn the heat up too high and now you're boiling, you gotta get that damn sweater off. <laughs> uh, hopefully this will help you out a little bit and um, yeah more information to come guys I'm always trying to pump out new videos I got a couple I'm working on right now so please remember to click the subscribe button to stay updated on everything go ahead and click the like button if you liked it comment question any of that kind of stuff helps everything grow and get better so yeah thanks for watching guys live to roll let's get a fist bump later Okay. All right, everybody. Sean here with another live to roll. Uh, starting over. Okay. What's up, everybody?